Hello, so on today's video I'm going to be reviewing one of these very basic Chinese kind of panoramic masks that's sort of a 3M ripoff, but not really. It's like where they basically got one of the 3M masks that would have had um, the sort of dual bayonet filter system on either side and it just converted it to have a 40mm filter slot in the very middle. So if I just take this filter off a second you can see that you've got your voice diaphragm, exhale valve and 40mm intake there. I've tried both GOST and NATO filters and it's, they both seem to work fine on here so I guess it's either a NATO or a normalised thread on here. Now a very interesting thing with this mask is the strap system. If you look at the straps you'll see that the top strap and the sort of left and right middle strap because it's a five point head harness are fixed in place. The only adjustable strap is the bottom strap but it's actually just one big strap that runs all the way through the back so you tighten that one strap at either side which it's not a bad system to be honest, but it's a bit unusual, I've not really seen it before. The rest of the thing is sort of one of these nice sort of skull cap mesh head harness things which is surprisingly comfortable. Now the only frustration I had with this mask is if you look inside, the panoramic lens inside, um, not so much the lens but the oral nasal cup, in the pictures online these are clear silicon so you can see through them. As you can see in reality you can't see through them, it's just like white silicon. So that's a bit annoying because you can actually see there that the um, See that? The uh, valves in there are clear silicon, so you can see through the valves in it, but not the entire thing. Now, with like masks like the Scott M98, the advantage of having one of these that's made out of clear silicon is you actually get a better field of view, because that doesn't eliminate any of your field of view. But otherwise, the mask is surprisingly nice, actually. So it's got a neck strap as well, so bonus points for that, because neck straps are good. And um, thank you to Laser Point Productions, because he donated a bit towards this mask um, and found it for me online. So. Let's put it on. So what I'm going to do is have both the straps sort of totally loose, or the one uniform strap totally loose. Going to put it on and then adjust those. So let's get it on, and then let's get that nice around my face before I start strap tightening the straps. So I'm going to just tighten the left one a bit, and the right one, or vice versa, depending on how you're looking at it. I suppose that's technically the left one. Now they're sort of even, or tightening evenly. So. There we go. Then I need to pull this bit back on my head a bit, so that's in the right place. There we go, that's below my ears. Eaten a bit more. So there we go, I think that's pressurised. Let's do a quick test. Yeah, it seems to be pressurised. I may need to tighten these straps ever so slightly more and just adjust this to get it as comfortable as possible. But that seems about right, so. Yeah, it seems to be pressurising, so yes, very good field of view, you can see down pretty well. Not much distortion actually, which is nice. Um, I'll get the pistol out just quickly. Give me a second. So if I get this... Yeah, I can see the iron sight totally fine, there is absolutely no problem with this. You know, distorting iron sights, you can actually look down them see them fine, so bonus points for that, that's good. <coughs> so obviously, you want to see me test it, let's see if this is any good. This isn't as comfortable on the face as some of these sort of panoramic masks I've used, but it's not uncomfortable. With a lot of these, you seem to have to wear them for quite a bit before they mould to your face properly, because otherwise you get a bit of irritation where the oral nasal cup connects to your face, but it's not bad. Hopefully you can hear from the video that the voice diaphragm isn't too bad either. So anyway, let's do this test. Oh, I want to up. And I can't smell that banana oil at all, so the mask is work working absolutely fine, which is great. So you get a little bit of fogging in it, but nothing major. I'm trying to work out where the air actually blows in when you inhale, but I'm guessing it just probably comes in sort of where the filter is, probably, and just spreads out from there, so it makes sense that the top bit would um, fog up a little bit, even with the oral nasal cut, but yeah. It's quite comfortable, it doesn't come loose from your head, I said it works with iron sights, and £30 roughly for a brand new mask is a very, very good price. Just simply because, obviously, these are actually brand new, they're not even surplus. 
these like modern Chinese industrial masks. So yeah, I'd actually really recommend this. Um, I said the single strap system is a bit weird. It works, but I'm not sure how much of a fan I am of it. I'm just going to smell the banana right now, so I'm just adjusting that. I will say the peripheral seal is a little bit thin around this area. It's not stopping the mask from working, but it is a bit thin. If I actually had hair at the moment, that might make that seal a bit better, I'm not too sure. But it's certainly not a bad design. Um, as I said, you know, it's comfortable enough for it is. It offers you a very good field of view. If you wanted a mask that didn't look too intimidating for whatever reason, like you wanted it for workplace use or something like that, yeah, it'd be pretty good for that, I imagine. So yeah, a big thumbs up for this. £30 for a brand new mask isn't a bad price at all. Mine came within about two, two and a half weeks of ordering it from China, so that wasn't too bad and it got through customs, no problem. It came in a cardboard box and an orange drawstring bag, but unfortunately somebody had tied the drawstring together right there and I couldn't unknot it, so I had to cut it out. But at least it's got a little bag to keep it in to stop it getting scratched and sunlight directly hitting the mask. But yeah, overall, I'm quite impressed with this. You know, for a relatively cheap mask that's actually new, it would do its job. Now, if I was having to pick a Chinese mask to spend that sort of money on, I'd personally recommend the MF11s, which is the export version of the FMJ05 for that sort of money. Because being a full military sort of grade mask, I think it's actually a better mask. It's not panoramic or anything like that, but for most people, I think it's maybe the better choice. So yeah, I will keep my eyes open in the future for masks coming out of China, because as I've said before, uh, China is doing a very good job at the moment for making lots of masks at reasonable prices that are, are actually getting better in quality. Not to the point yet where they rival a lot of Western masks, you know, like Draeger and Avon and MSA and things like that in terms of build quality, but they're getting up there. But for the prices, considering a brand new Chinese mask is like 10% the price of a brand new Avon or um, MSA mask, you know, £30 as opposed to £300, they are doing very well in that department. So, um, thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, I will give this generic mask, which I don't even know its production name, a thumbs up.